When you click on Stata, this is the screen that would show up. What you have is four sections or four separate screens, variables, review, results, and commands. So whenever you write a command, this is the screen which you'll be using. The result of the command, the results would be shown in this screen. The review section tells you what are the various commands that you're given and variables would be the different variables that exist in the database. You can open a database. So here I just opened a database. All I did was I said open and I clicked on it and this was the command that was used. So all the variables are here. You can rearrange these screens as well. Suppose I wanted more space for the variables so that I could read what they were all about. This is what I would have. This is the data screen. So once I open up the data sheet, this is what I see. So this is the data that I've just imported into Stata. And these are the various variables. I can ask Stata to tabulate a result which will give me some frequency. So I say tabulate and I just pick on one variable. Let's say what are the age groups of the people that I have in this database. So there are 85 data points for people in the age group of 15 to 19. So tablet gives me a frequency score of that particular variable. Now as you can see here, review has all the commands that I've given so far. I asked Stata to open this database, so that's the command. I asked it to tabulate one of the variables and this is the command. So you can always go back and click on it again and it would show up in your commands and if you press enter it would rerun the command for you. Two more things that I want you to try out. One is the do file editor. Once you open this, a screen shows up. It's called untitled1.do. You can rename it any way you want. On the do file, what you do is you write the commands down. So suppose I say tabulate the variable 0, v And I also wanted to tabulate some another variable, say v016, which I see up here. Now this is the do file, and I can save this do file. I can save it as 490. What it does is it saves all these commands. So next time I don't have to remember these commands. I don't have to write them again in my command sheet. I can just ask Stata to run the current file. And what it does is, let's minimize this. What it does is it ran tab v013 and it ran tab v016. Okay. So what do file really does is you can write and record and save all the commands that you want to run in your Stata file. Let's close that. The other thing is your log file. What the log file does is, let's call this 490 as well. What the log file does is, it records everything that happens on this screen called results. Everything. If you make mistakes, the results, the commands, everything. So it's nice to open a log file and then you can close the log file by going into the log. This is close log file. Right? So once you have the log file, you can open and see what you actually did during that sitting Stata, sitting that you played around with Stata. So that's all you, I want you guys to practice before uh, tomorrow's class is to open the Stata and just look at the various screens and open and save a do file and open and